hello everyone. So <clears throat> first of all, disclaimer, I am not a cycling expert. I just like buying stuff. <laughs> but in that process, I have accumulated lots of stuff. And between us, we've kind of like, you know, when one person buys something, we all end up buying it. So we know which, one, which things are good. So our top five things, first of all, number one, the most important thing that you never thought would be the most important thing, pants. Someone, nobody told me before I cycled that I would have to actually wear something different. And it's not until you do your first kind of like maybe 20 miles, 25 miles, and you're like, oh, I'm a little bit uncomfortable. So it's quite important in the cycling world to get these things. So I don't know how clear this is going to be. So there's basically your basic cycling shorts. Ta da! But inside, there's a nice surprise. It's a big nappy, basically. <laughs> And um, these padded cycling shorts are amazing. They're really comfortable. Um, there's different types. Sorry, it's my daughter playing with the lighting in her room. There's different types. Um, we suggest the gel-filled pads because they tend to be better. And then, you know, if you want to go, there's also like the whole leggings, one piece, like a big, like baby, un baby grow. Yeah, like a big Pickle. baby grow. You think it's, 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 it's very not sexy, but it's it, it works really well. So the pad, um, and I have the opposite. I have just yes, small Orion. knickers, but again, <laughs> very padded inside. Yes, Alia, can and we the trick them? is underneath them. You don't wear any other knickers. This is it. Yep. This, is, this is your knickers. Yes. Yeah, so basically, but don't wear anything else underneath otherwise it will rub that's the whole point a lot of people find it difficult in the beginning but yes that is that is your underwear so you don't wear anything else so i hope that's clear everybody if you want to um, get into cycling <laughs> i so, think uh, Fatima, i think one of the things that maybe it would be the chamois cream to be used yeah. on the gel pads as well um yeah, yeah, yeah. We, can, yeah we can do that uh, yeah um, because in terms of where to get them from to be honest i just got mine from um amazon just found one's a good review and then there's obviously loads you think the thing with cycling is that there's lots of very very expensive products so it depends on how much you want to spend um they're obviously really good ones from you know specialist shops but there's someone uh, we'll send you all the links at the end that you know the products that we recommend okay so that's number one number two is winter so of course gloves are quite important Ta -da! i told you i've got a lot of shopping right so <laughs> I started off with these very simple first bike ride as the gloves, they were $4.99. They got a bit of padding, um, but um, not a good idea. They ripped, I don't know if you can see that. So what we recommend again is gel padding. So I've actually got two types, one for um, like summer. So this is just um, uh, fingerless like that. And then one for sort of uh, autumn time. Can you switch that light on? Autumn time. And then um, when you get to winter time, so you do have these really thick gloves, and you you don't think your hands are going to get that cold, but they really do. So gloves are important um, to keep your hands warm. So the the brands that we use, and they're not that cheap. They're usually about the twenty pound to thirty pound range. Um, um, Pearl Izumi is a good brand. So we'll send you the link for that. Any questions so far for anybody? Good. <laughs> right, we'll go on to lights. So, and uh, just passing the two lights, yeah. So um, with all seriousness, lights are a must have for um, any bike riding, especially now in winter. There's a lot of people, I mean, as a car rider, when you start r riding a bike, you realize that um, bikes, unless you are lit up, car rider, car drivers will not sit like, so lights are really important. So um, again, you can get like basic lights. We got these from eBay, they're flashing, right? Oh, my daughter switched the light off. <laughs> and then, okay, because it's, I don't know. And then the, the, the lights that I do recommend are this brand. And I know Iman uses this brand. She's the one that told me about it. She's on the call. They're called C-Sense. And um, again, they're quite expensive, but I got it for free with uh, joining likely. That's really strong, you can see. So, um, and then if you really want to go hardcore, there's like these 
really strong lights. I think Alia's got hers with her. Uh, have you got yours, Alia, to show us? Yep, I've got yeah. mine. So basically, this is a front light. Um, and we've used this on like, you know, the canal paths where there's like, where there's very little lighting, you're at night and you need like bright illumination. I won't shine it straight into the camera because it's it really is, yeah. it is super bright, but it can basically allow everyone to see, um, you know, if you're cycling against a group and stuff, um, but that's more important when you are like, when it's quite dark and for you, for it to light your path. Yeah. And I think, I think obviously not everyone wants to cycle in the dark, but for those of you who are, brave and want to cycle in the dark and i missed that. okay that was number three i missed number four which is as well as your hands being warm your feet get unbelievably cold and that is basically the science here because your body is trying to warm up your core so obviously the blood is going towards your core so first of all importantly warm up your core wear lots of layers layer up and a lot of people wear um woolen socks so there's this type of wool that's called merino wool that a lot of cyclists use and wool is better than cotton because it absorbs any water from sweat and it doesn't sort of touch your skin so um definitely woolen socks we use two pairs of woolen socks or even um i've got like these uh, ski socks that i bought once that are quite thick so because your feet are not moving like you do when you're walking they're just on the pedal um and obviously there's a lot of wind chill so your feet get really cold so socks gloves light padding and finally um high visibility so should we touch yes. should we see if it works <laughs> so i've got they have these kind of light up jackets so here's my jacket it's got this gray bit at the bottom we're going to see if it works we'll close the light <laughs> we'll close the light and we'll see if it lights up because can you see how that kind of picks up the light so yeah as soon as the car thank you assistant so as soon as that um as soon as a car light hits on that you'll be seen obviously you have these very very attractive high visibility vests that no one should be seen dead in but unfortunately they really work so when you're first starting out i really recommend just a normal you know a couple of pounds high visibility uh, vest and i think soraya's got some more yep. high vis products as well so i've got the full gray jacket so it's a gilet so it's a sleeveless and it's front and back exactly the same. Ooh. Oh, your phone's fell. <laughs> so, front and back. And the other thing I have is um, I also have some just straps to wear if you don't want to wear a whole jacket. So some straps. The the grey bits will um, um, will reflect, and then you've also got the orange as well. So yeah, not very pretty, but it works. So yeah, that's it. That's the top five things. So obviously there's loads more products out there. This is just basics that we've sent you. And inshallah in the future, we'll talk about more complex bike products that 